let's just say it, it scared the hell out of me as a 12 year old kid. Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome back to Back to the 80s week. I am Random Ross and yes, it is our penultimate day, meaning we've only got one more after this one, but it's been a fun week. But anyway, let's get on to our review for today and today I'm reviewing Pet Cemetery. Yep, this is an adaptation of Stephen King's classic novel uh, where we follow the Creed family that move into this new house and they have a neighbour across the street from them, Judge Crandall, uh, Crandall who um, is a, a nice enough old guy that lives across the road from them and even shows them a small pet cemetery close by their house and then when their family pet church is you know, run over by a truck um, Judd shows Lewis, you know a place beyond the pet cemetery, a holy burial ground from the Native Americans which resurrect the dead. However, the dead don't come back the same and sometimes dead is better. But yeah, they bring it brings Church back and he's not that same cat we all know and he is evil and menacing. Then a family tragedy unfolds where the youngest of the Creed children, Gage, is killed in a truck accident but then Lewis unable to live with that grief brings Gage back and he is again not the same he is an evil little menace that goes on a killing spree takes out Judd takes out his mother Rachel and then of course after ignoring the warnings from uh, Victor Pascal who is a ghostly entity that haunts Lewis because he tried to save him he tries to warn off Lewis to not do it again, but doesn't listen and brings back Rachel again. She is evil and the film ends there. So that's the essential plot to the film. So what did I like about this film? Well, this film, what can I tell you? The, the, the history I have with this movie. Now, I remember, you know, being 12 years old watching this film. I was still coming into horror. I, I mean, at this point I was past Scream. I was... You know, I thought, okay, I'm pretty much getting over, I'm getting desensitised to the horror elements. So I thought, you know what, I'll watch it, because if it scares me, that, that's good, it's fun. So I watched the film, and let's just say, it, it scared the hell out of me, as a 12-year-old kid. So I remember watching it, and being absolutely terrified of it. And at that point, uh, the very night I watched it, I didn't sleep. I, I laid awake all night thinking it. True story, I laid awake all night thinking about it and I remember the sun rising and I still, like, like I say, laid awake because I could not sleep when I saw this film. But looking back at it now, the fact that a horror film could do that to me, I thought, yeah, scares well done. I mean, I'm desensitised to all that now. I'm immune to it. I've seen worse stuff than that. In fact, it's going to make me puke now for it to disturb me. But the fact that Pet Cemetery could do that, yeah, I thought that was a scare well done. I also liked the young actor who played Gage in it. Again, he wasn't given any lines. He was like an actual toddler at the time. And they just let him do what he wanted and act out and stuff. And I've got to say, the little kid did a good job playing an evil, unsettling, undead child. Uh, I also thought the cat they got for church I'm assuming it was many cats because I don't think one cat they would have been able to just play that role but the cat church was a good little menace as well and I like the dynamic they had both going when they were both undead I also thought you know Lewis Creed the actor he was great in this too but however at the end he kind of you know dug his own grave uh, I like the character of Judd uh, Crendel uh, you know, Judd and uh, he was played by Fred, what's his name, who played, probably better known as Herman Munster in The Munsters. Uh, I liked his character, however, his big error was showing Lewis that place. Maybe he should have, see, maybe he should have, 
See, maybe he could have just not told Lewis and buried Church and then him not notice, but Church getting aggressive. I don't know, but... Or maybe he just shouldn't have shown it him altogether and just buried the cat in the pet cemetery on those grounds. I believe that it was something to do with the Wendigo as well, which they focus on in the book and the remake. Not much mention of it in this one. But, um, also, this had a good score, a good soundtrack of, like, choir children as well. Looking at that, I thought, yeah, I know this is going to be a creepy film. Um, also, Victor Pascal looked very creepy and unsettling when he was the ghost form with his brain exposed. And um, also, this had a cameo or a small part from Stephen King playing a priest in it, you know, at uh, Gage's funeral. So, yeah. I think this is a good classic horror. Did it need a remake? Not really. Of course, everyone got pissed off with the remake on its second trailer revealing the change that they made in it, which I think would have been better not showing, but I much prefer this one anyway. And like I say, this one truly scared me. Also, that scene as well with Zelda, that nightmare sequence where Rachel remembers that she was looking after her sister Zelda who had like meningitis. That character, I believe, was played by a man, and again, that scene I thought was a bit creepy upon first viewing, especially for my 12-year-old self. But yeah, I've watched the film again and even read the book once, seen the remake once. This one I've seen, I've revisited a lot more than the other adaptations of Pet Cemetery. So anyway ratings what am i going to rate this you know what i think i will give this one five stabs out of five let's go for let's give it let's go for our five stabs at least once this week if we have to so there you go there is my review for pet cemetery so have you seen it let me know down in the comments below what you think to it do you think it's a classic do you think it's overrated does it scare you like it scared me feel free to share we'll have a discussion so that's it for this one, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you wish to. The choice is yours at the end of the day. It just helps out me. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for our series finale, our last day of Back to the 80s week. So, yeah, until next time, don't have nightmares.